Jo. So that was the same two kilometers that I've walked already uphill today. Though today, uh, this time, and a bit faster, faster way than last time. Oh my god! Like this is a place where you can see where bedrock is sticking through. So it's very hard to fill up road on this side. So water is always running on this side. Whew. Now our breath is coming back. You still can hear him up there. Still pushing the road. Thank you very much. Very good. So what you'd lo normally like to have is a, a bit of a hill on the surface of the road. So it curves down on both sides so that water is running to both sides. Of course it's not possible if the road is along a mountainside. It would be preferable to have a ditch here now on the right side so that water that is coming down the mountain woof 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 has been collected in the ditch and then you would have to make a colored pipe or like a surface pipe and drain the water towards the left side which is the little creek side. But I think I've mentioned before, it's not really possible here on the hillside. It would take out a lot of dirt. So we would have to move tons and tons and tons of dirt. It would widen the road a bit, which would be nice, but then you would have to have a ditch here on the right hand side. And as you see in places it is quite steep. So if you start digging over here, like all the loose dirt would come down. In other places we have bedrock straight on the side of the mountain. So would take a hammer and a digger and everything just to dig it up. So, not possible. We will try to slope the road this way. So when gravel comes and also we're going to push a bit more so that the water is running down to the left side of the forest road. So all in total, I would say we have moved a couple of tons of dirt today just by pushing it down, down towards the creek side of the road. The surface of the road is quite compact in a way. If there wouldn't be so much water on it, it wouldn't be a problem. But there is water on it, so it has to go. Wow, the road feels really wide now. Oh yeah, that old stump that came down the mountain over there is now lying down here. And the treetop was already down here. So this stretch over here I have to do by hand. Like it just takes too much time always to move the shovel around this way, this way, this way. And you can't push it really straight because here it's really steep, like you're sliding down all the time, especially if you give uh, you give uh, torque and power to the wheels. So, uh, no, big deal, we'll do it by hand. Push it down here as well, no big thing. But again, like, wow, it's a highway now. Significantly widen the road. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the road is slightly sloping this way. So water can run that way. Before it was not possible, as you've seen, we had the embankment, so water stopped from flowing down to the creek, which is mostly possible now. Oh. 
I don't know really what to do about all the bushes and rushes on this side. I don't have like a side mower, side mulch or something. It would be nice to cut it all down. Because now it's like it's growing, it will always block the road. My branches get thicker. What is it? I think it's beech, it's hazelnut, and it's of course lots of brambles. This a hazelnut, this some beech. Oh yeah, these were the two, three big logs. Directly at the roadside. So they were completely blocking the water. They were just lying here, all the way. So that's good, they're gone. Awesome. And here's another one. Would actually make some quite good firewood. Yeah, this is the place where they've cut down uh, a lot of fir trees two, two years ago. And on that side of the creek as well, where they've done it this year. Why? Because it was too dry the last couple of years. Really, really too dry. So all the fir trees, they really suffered. They have cut down most of the dead ones already, but uh, uh, they'll probably take down some more. <clears throat> because what happens is when once the tree is ill, is sick, or is suffering from stress, it's an easy target for beetles. And uh, again, I don't know the right term in English, but these beetles, they're specialized on fir trees. And once they're in, they, just populate in masses and we'll get to all the other health of the fir trees as well so there's a bit of a clearing there and there stars our property the mill on the road again this is a really nice part this will be easy to maintain so what is just running off it's uh, not too steep part of the road, water's running very slowly down here and then shoop, just can go down that way. Easy peasy. So, and that's where we started, on the mountainside, push it away. So that's it for today folks. See you in the next part when we put gravel down.